This is a Roberts um, R66 portable mains and battery valve radio, um, circa 50s, 60s. Um, nice radio, it's got the clear Roberts radio dial on it. It's got um, a selector switch on the left for long wave and medium wave, either selecting battery or main supply. Uh, volume control on the right. You can see that the, the dial's in good condition. There's a little bit of fungus inside the uh, glass there where this radio has been stored in a damp area and it's it smells of damp it smells it has that fusty smell it's got a plastic grill that's in nice condition a bit yellow there that can be cleaned up when we take it apart the cabinet's in pretty good nick um it's got a bit of uh the, the uh, leatherette coming off here that can be stuck back on the strap's broken uh that's basically because it's rotten away but uh, that's not much of a problem there either few bits of uh, leatherette off at the corners. It's got the uh, turntable on the bottom for uh, best reception from the internal aerial. If you look inside, you'll see that the, uh, the radio is in actually really nice condition. Uh, the internals all clean. There's no corrosion inside. Um, it's also got the uh, these are the battery connections for the uh, the accumulator. One supplies the heaters. One supplies the high tension. Ninety volts and one and a half volts accordingly um it's actually a mains powered uh transformer powered main supply um it you can't use a um dc supply on this radio because it's um, got a transformer inside therefore some unlike some radios that you can run off a, a dc supply from the mains uh, this one's ac only and that's denoted from the uh, label on the warning label on the back and uh, the label on the top also shows that it came from Milton's Radio Services in um, Chester uh, and also in apparently North Street. That's interesting. So they must have had two shops in the same town. A bit unusual. But yeah, inside it all looks nice and clean. Uh, there's no corrosion I can see on the uh, tuning caps. I've just bought the radio. Um, I don't know if it works. Um, it, I have no reason to suspect to suspect it won't work really um because it's so nice in condition inside the only thing is the uh electrolytics might take a bit of um coaxing into life so what i'm going to do i'm going to do it now this is the, i haven't powered this up i'm going to power it up now i'm going to see if we get any life from the radio so what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch it to main supply on long wave i'm going to tune to radio 4 which is 1500 meters or the light band as it's marked on here. Uh, I'm going to turn the volume to about halfway and then I'm going to wind up the uh, the variac and uh, see if we get any life. So let's, let's give that a go. Um, so we're set at minimum voltage. I'm going to wind it up now. Okay, it's at 50 volts. No sign of any life yet. Give it a little while to settle down. Oh, hold on, our mains wires come out. Okay, let's try again. Mains connection's back again. So it's wired up to 100 volts. Let's see if we can hear anything. We did this in steps because we didn't have uh, uh, overload anything if it hasn't been working for a while. Okay, it's 150 volts. Let's give it a... Okay, it's, well, there's a crackle, so there's obviously some sign of life. Keeping an eye on the current, 200 volts. Nothing. Could be in. Okay, it's still very quiet, so let's increase it to my full mains. Okay, 240 volts. So we're up to normal mains now. Turn it around and have a quick look in the back. Anything obviously smoking or anything? The trouble with these little tiny valves, these are very low power valves, it's very hard to tell if they're working or not. They don't emit any um, glowing from their uh, filaments, or if they do it's very, very dim and you probably won't see them on the camera. So it's totally dead. There's a few crackles on the, from the volume control, but that's it. I can't feel anything on any of these valves so okay at the moment the set's totally dead let's try it on 
long wave again. Go back to medium wave and try that. There's a very slight click. Oh, hold on, I had it on battery that time. That's my fault. It's on medium wave now. Hardly any signs of life at all. Okay. So I think the next step is to uh, possibly see if we've got any um, RF at all by feeding in an IF signal. Oh, we've got the crackle then. Okay, this valve connection is pretty bit dirty. Oh, have we got some sound? Here we go. His eyes open and learn from what he sees. Last year, I spent several months in Southeast Asia. Very weak sound. Cambodia. But we have sound. As you may remember, Cambodia was dragged reluctantly. Okay. Russia and the United States. That's the front end valve. So that's got a very crowded connection in. Old and rich civilization. Let's just get that cap off. For Cambodia itself became polarized between left and right when finally the war in Vietnam. It's absolutely sea solid in there, I think. We should twist off. And during the next four years, killed thousands, maybe even millions of their own people. Cambodia became. The in the increase in RF noise. With common ideals and common objectives, in which men and women tolerate and respect one another. <laughs> does not break down when faced with a threat from outside. Okay. It's getting a little bit louder, but it's still very weak. Let's give it a chance to reform the caps. Why not? 250 volts. Voted Labour prior to that. Um, the volume's getting louder. I don't know if you can hear this, but the volume's slowly getting louder. I'd worked with and was very fond of Harold Wilson, so I'd, I'd had those experiences. But the Labour Party... Yeah, so it's going to come back to life quite well now. There's not one word I just said what I do. that I would disagree with today. There's not one single word. So you don't disagree with a single word you said there. But it's interesting to say... I just I'm see an an IF signal just to see if there's any major misalignment. As an ordinary person. Um, By the way, I've just come back from... Generate a warm-up for a second. A film. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what ordinary Sounds people. good. Uh, um, I think what I was trying to say was I was an ordinary person in terms of... So I think the next step will be is to... I was a person that was more There's a with what I... dial scraping slightly there. That point is scraping on the uh, on the uh, dial. I need to fix that because that's going to damage the dial. It's already marking it slightly, so I need to get that sorted. Let's try the medium wave. Okay, medium wave's working, and likewise, it's very. Very insensitive, very weak signal. So let's feed an IF signal in and see what we get. So it's a 470 front end. Let's feed a 470 in. Um, okay, that's all right. Let's turn the power down a bit. Well, that IF seems pretty good, so they. It's possibly just the front end needs a bit of a trim up. Um, but um, it's working working fairly well. I think the next stage is to take the set apart and um, have a look inside and see um, if there's anything obviously wrong. But those caps are, are nice and cool, and um, there's no mains hum at all, so it looks like the set's going to be fine. It just needs a bit of a recalibration, so. I'll come back to that in a second video.